first of all, why do you think this company has made it for 40 years? Honesty. Honesty. This is a business in which there are a lot of people who have failed because they have been they haven't understood what was going on and they haven't always paid their bills and they haven't always paid their artists and haven't always treated their artists with respect. But Harlan from the very beginning never did otherwise. I think that's the basis of it. I agree, and I also think uh, they've not only treated their artists well, but they've treated their audiences as well, uh, as well. The two go hand in hand. And uh, after they signed up all these artists, they managed to crank out the kind of songs that were believable, they were singable, and they were very memorable. And for that, we're very grateful to Harlan, uh, to Chris Nielsen, and of course to Rob, who's taken over the business from his dad. Yeah, it's not very often that a record company uh, goes to the scion of the family, but, but it has, and very happily. And uh, you and I have both had a lot of things to do with Harlan and Rob and Chris over the years. And they're simply, they're, they're good people in a business that, in which everybody isn't always good people. That's, that's not being critical of anybody in the business, but they, it, the way the bi music business used to be provided a lot of opportunity for a little bit of economic and financial skullduggery in which those, uh, in which, in which uh, Harlan and his company never engaged. One of the things that we have to credit Harlan and Royalty with is keeping it Canadian. There's a lot of our artists who uh, make their way south or they make their way across the pond and some of them never come back. But in the case of uh, Harlan and Chris, they kept it Canadian and they really paved the way for a lot of things to do with international rights, uh, copyrights, uh, that kind of thing that uh, puts bread on the table and keeps the families fed. And I'm very grateful for what they've done and I think, Tom, you would agree that yeah. they are good role models for the uh, young up-and-comers. And the reason for that is exactly what you said, that Harlan, uh, quite aside from uh, being a, a, an advocate of his company and a good marketer, which he is, has, has had the interests of Canada and Canadian artists as a whole at heart, and he has worked very hard on that, quite aside from the hard work that he's done on, on Royalty Records, but he has lobbied and he has presented good ideas to all orders of government. Uh, to, to help promote our Canadian artists, Canadian writers, Canadian publishers. Uh, they haven't all come to fruition, but he has always been right. He hasn't always been successful in convincing the powers that be to do the things that he knew needed to be done, but he's always been right, and he has great respect from everybody in the, in the industry for that. And, and one of the things that you just brought to mind was the leading role that Harlan took in helping to create and form the uh, uh, Canadian Country Music Association, which as we all know is doing the second annual now CCMA Awards here in Edmonton. And you've got to go back to some of these people who uh, back in the uh, 60s and 70s were eking out a living trying to make uh, country music what it is today. Back then it was a very different story, but they needed the support of associations like the CCMA and for that, uh, to Harlan and to some of the other legends, we're deeply, deeply grateful. And we add our congratulations to everybody else's for 40 wonderful years, and we hope for 40 more. Well, Royalty Records. They should have it. So, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Royalty. Happy birthday. on that one a little bit, but it's heartfelt. <laughs> 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 <laughs>